What's going on guys? I am Kobus Caboose and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. No, this is not the PC version. I am playing my Xbox account right now. And the reason I'm playing the Xbox account is because at first I was checking to see if that most recent update was implemented into the Xbox version, which it was. Now, uh, there is a station. I know a lot of other YouTubers have probably already done this. I think I watched one that actually did, but he's he's pretty high up on the what's going on in the Elite Universe world thing. And uh, uh, go watch Obsidian Ant if you want any information on this game because he does it all the time, often during the week, several times a week usually. And he's got a lot of good information. I really like his stuff. But uh, here at the Felicis Dock, or whatever the hell it's called, in whatever system I am in, I can't remember what the system is. I will put a link in the description. Oh, it's the Meanie system. I don't know how you would actually pronounce it. It's M-E-E-N-E. -E -E. So, Meanie, if you want to be stupid like me and call it that, that works too. Anyway, the whole point of this is that I am doing my thoughts on what they've done with this most recent update. Now, in this update... When you land on this station in this system, there's a guy that immediately offers you this mission. Decoding the Ancient Ruins. Now, there are the Ancient Ruins, and I'm sure that most of you that watch any of the Elite videos already know that there are some ruins. <clears throat> that there are some ruins in this game of an ancient civilization, or what's left of the ruins. I'm not exactly sure. But... This guy has something he wants you to do. He wants you to go scan a bunch of those obelisks that are in the thing that used to glow there. And nobody really knew what they were. I know a few people figured it out. I've already been able to scan four of the things in a complete amount to get $4 million right now. If I can complete the whole thing, which I don't know if he tells you when you've completed the whole thing. I'm sure he does. Uh, you can get 100 million credits. Now, that is a hell of a lot of credits. And you got three weeks and six days to do it. So, almost four weeks. Actually, you have four weeks. I've only been at it for about four hours. But, getting there takes a while. Getting here took a while. Depending on what area of space you're in. I was in Imperial Space. And it wasn't too far to get to here. But to get from here to the other place where all this crap is, is a little bit of a jump. Because as you can see, that's where my ship is, That uh, the only other ship I have in the game. I only have the two, and I use it for fighting stuff, but it's way back in Vaca, which is 140-some light years from here. But to the Alien Ruins, which I will let you see on the screen here, you can see it on the corner there, is a Sinifichivith XRH D11-102 moon b now me landing on that's going to be another trick because it takes me forever to find it even though i know exactly what i'm looking for it's still a pain in the ass to find if you can't find it there are plenty of pictures online that show how to get there i will put one up here on the screen probably at some point where you can see what i use to figure it out and it's a very stupid description but it works for me so that's what i do and this is a hell of a long ways from here quite a bit the best part of doing this, though, is that if uh, there's a lot of jumps, I will be cutting most of that out. The whole advantage of actually getting here and doing this is if you can complete the whole thing, that is a lot of credits. It's worth the time to at least attempt to do it. If your time starts to run out for the amount of time you spend there, because I don't know how long it actually takes to complete this or what, but Frontier's given you four weeks to figure out everything. The only thing that I noticed that I don't like about it is that it is very, very confusing and very time-consuming. Very, very, very time-consuming. Don't hit anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to go back there, and I will show you what I've been doing. And I'll kind of explain some of it along the way. Not all of it, but some of it. This does have spoilers if you have not seen anything on this. So keep that in mind. Yay! Stars I can drag. I actually, the first time I jumped there, I didn't jump onto any stars that I could feel scoop at all. It sucked. I had to jump to an economical route and I still hit hardly anything. And it took forever to get there. Three, two, one, 
That is one of the coolest things that they added to this game. I love it. Is that effect. It was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, to kind of explain what's going on, when you get to the ruins, you got to scan the obelisks. But you can't scan them without relics. So the relics are the casket, which I guess is almost like a coffin. There's an urn, there's a tablet, and there's an orb. I think there's only the four things. I haven't found anything else. So I'm assuming it's only the four things. So you have to have a combo of the two to even make the thing work at all. I should probably scan since I'm going directions I have never been. Ah, why not, right? And so basically the whole idea is I started with the casket and the orb. And in doing so, I was able to decrypt some of the ruins there. So that worked pretty well on what I was trying to do. Um, after that, I switched to the urn and the orb. And I unlocked another one. I think I un unlocked one with a friend of mine because he was using the urn and the casket. And I think if you're in a wing, it affects both of you to a point, I think. Because it seemed like it did. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure if that is a for sure thing, but I think it does. And the next thing I did, because he had to leave, is I ended up using the tablet and the orb, and I was in the attempt to decode another one, and I got my SRV stuck on one of the stupid relic pedestals, and I couldn't get off the damn thing, and there I could, there was no way. I, I, I tried, I shut the game off, I went back in, it loaded me on it. I was literally wedged inside the thing from a flip that went wrong when I landed on the hill. So be careful where you drive your uh, uh, URVs or SRVs, whatever. It's military, meh. But be careful where you go because you can get stuck on this crap really easy and apparently you can't get out of it sometimes. And I had to commit self-destruct because I couldn't get out of it and no, I, I went into... Uh, open play and nobody could get me out of it so no big deal i mean I, I there was hardly anybody around at the time but somebody tried to knock me out didn't work because i was that wedged all it did was hurt me really bad so i backed out tried a few other things ended up self-destructing to get myself out of it now i had to go back and get another srv which is why i'm flying back there now i started thinking about this uh, as i'm still traveling there um this picture here this picture here uh, basically, what I used to figure out where the spot is on the planet, uh, the picture shows a huge crater with two small ones above it. It looks like a jacked up Mickey Mouse head to me with an ear that's gotten either severed or dislodged or something. And I know it's diagonal, and then I once I find that, all I gotta do is look for the two craters that are merged together there. They're like half and half, which makes it easier to, uh, line up, I guess you could say. Then I'll, I, and then I know that right after that, on the other side of that little crater is where the base of these ruins is and that's how I'm able to find the thing. Now if you're on the dark side of the planet it can be kind of a bitch because you can't see nothing in this game when you have no light at all in your ship. There actually should be a module you can put on your ship that when activated like the scanner something that you can keep on constantly well, only while in a uh, super cruise that kind of highlights ground structure and where holes and stuff are on planets and some sort of like digital grid layout that would be an awesome module to put on a ship if you could actually do that it would make it so much easier to see planets on the dark side if it would literally wire grid the foundation Kind of like it does on your HUD when you're trying to land your ship. It shows how the ground's level and stuff. It would make the game so much easier when trying to look at a dark side of a planet if they actually did that. But yeah, that, that's how I figure out where my destination is on the planet. It's my own dumb way of doing it, but it works for me unless it's on the dark side. And it was still on the, it had just gotten in on the light side when I left well, a little before I landed, it changed. So I'm hoping that it's still light there. And it's only been four hours. Sorry about the delay here. Actually, it's more of a delay for me. You guys don't have to wait for nothing, do you? 
Yep, I'm still flying there. Yeah, I'm still trying to get uh, my rank up high enough so I can get my Imperial Cutter because I really, really want one. My brother wants a uh, Corvette, which it may have more guns and stuff, but I think that the Clipper is tougher and it's definitely more elegant. It's The, the, the Corvette is creepy looking to me. It looks like a freaking Star Destroyer or something like that from Star Wars, but I like the Cutter because it just looks cool. But trying to get anybody who doesn't have a lot of time to sit and play this game constantly, getting your rank up with the missions that they give you takes for freaking ever. And getting money if you're when you're not in a faction makes it even harder. Uh, but I definitely would really, really, really like to get... I need some freaking fuel. Um, I'm not anywhere near fuel. This is not good. But anyway, I'm trying to get my cutter because I really, really want one. Even though it's, there's, it's kind of... Uh, Oh, God. I will be right back with that thought as soon as I figure out how far I need to go before I get to a sun I can scrape. And I'm making a little detour because I didn't buy any more fuel while I was on the station because I'm stupid and this happened to me the first time I headed this way and I was too dumb to remember that fact. So we're just here to scrape the sun. But anyway, I really am wanting to get a cutter. But the problem I have with this game is that the missions, even the mission board or the passenger missions, passenger missions take longer to do, so you don't get your reputation up very fast, which is a problem. So if that's how you're planning on getting your reputation up, you're kind of screwed, and that's how I look at it, because you can't do them fast enough. Yeah, they pay, but they take forever to do. Uh, regular mission boards, most of those are dangerous, and if they're not, if you're lucky, you don't get caught or destroyed trying to do them like salvage missions suck but the personal opinion i don't like salvage missions because they kick your ass but uh and my own personal thought on that is that they don't have any high reputation gain missions which is something that i have an issue with because you want to get your reputation up but you can't and the only reason that you can't is because they don't offer high, um, what do they call it? High level ranking missions. Everything is low to medium, and medium takes forever. To get to the rank I need to get a cutter, I literally have to do another 278 missions, I think, because I've been counting the stupid things. It's going to take me forever to do that with the amount of time I have to play this game because I don't have a lot of time to sit and just play this game. Otherwise, I'd be, I probably would have had it by now. But I don't. So I, that's something I wish Frontier would add missions in that would help you gain your reputation with them higher. Now, if anybody has any thoughts on that and knows a faster way to get your rep up, if that means by joining a faction to get your reputation, then let me know if that's actually a thing because I don't know. If it is, let me know in the comments. Tell me that it's that is the thing, and that's something you have to do. Because if it is, then I will join a faction immediately just to get my rep up so I can get the damn ship that I want so bad. And hopefully I can do the stupid things that are done with a faction. Uh, not exactly sure why, but for me, when I'm recording with my capture card, the game gets darker on my screen. I'm not sure why, because it doesn't do that when it's recording it. But it seems to be the pass-through, I guess it does it. Not really sure. Oh, slow down, slow down. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, I can point out what I'm looking at when I'm doing this. Oh, God, I hope everything's still on this side of the planet. Because I couldn't see the moon, so I'm assuming it's on this side somewhere. Well, I pretty much see where it's at. It is in the, s in the light. It's just at a very, very bad angle. As long as I don't hit the ground, I should be good. I should be set right on target of where I want to go. Because there's my Mickey Mouse ears. The two craters that are dented into each other. And it should be right in between that little one right in front of there. And that big dip off onto the side there on the right. Uh, at least that's the thought. At least I hope that's where it's at. I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. I'm more than positive that's where it's at. It's somewhere near that itty bitty crater dot right there in the center. Ooh, it's going to take forever to fly down here, though. Especially if I screw up my angle. Or I got the direction wrong. And this is something that I find a pain with the Xbox. is Because it takes forever to load when you drop. That was the 
fastest it's ever done. Now I feel stupid saying it out loud because that's usually not what it does. Okay, that is definitely where I'm wanting to go. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna have to find the artifacts I had again because, as I said, I had to blow myself up, which makes for a very long and drawn out problem. Ah, there it is. Wow, I found it right away. Now, the only problem I found is if you land your ship too close, you can't use your jets because your ship does not, because uh, your your uh, SRV or SVR or blah, 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 does not like being close to your vehicle. So, please don't crash into the ground. Again, I did that earlier and it really sucked. I am not the best planet lander. Okay, I want to slow down now. Yeah, that's a good time. No, let's go up a little more. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Maybe if I can find some flat surface. This thing is so freaking hard to land. There we go. Yay. Okay. Now that we're down, I will show you guys what I've been trying to say since I started this. And the game has a tendency to crash for some reason, so I'm hoping it doesn't do it because I got it on solo play right now. But it seems like every time I'm in a wing and I get on a planet and try to do anything, the freaking game crashes on me and it pisses me the hell off. Okay, that sound drives me nuts. The radar goes off constantly. I, I basically just turned all my volume down because it's so irritating. Uh, this thing, you got to keep an eye on your vehicle. I've already heard it seven, uh, 3% somehow already. I am not the best driver when it comes to this game. I'm trying to find uh, an artifact, and I'm hoping that the one I want is still where it was before. Uh, that's a big if. Ah, there's something up here. What do we got? What do we got? That is the tablet. Okay, I want the tablet back again. So you gotta... Wait, what? What's in my cargo? I still have that stuff? Okay, never mind. I don't have to do that. Okay, basically I got two things. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys what we're dealing with here if I don't wreck and kill myself again and get wedged on something because that really sucks when that happens. Okay, we'll start with these ones here. I'm gonna shut these off because it's, it's for me it's easier to see what I'm looking for when I don't have headlights glowing on everything. Okay, there's one there. This here, when it starts glowing, you have to have two of these apparently to make this work. You gotta scan it. You, uh, on the Xbox, you hold uh, LB and you scan. And let's see if it gives me any information that I actually need. Okay, it, it did something, but it's not the right one, and my data is full. That is something that this game will, or this game, that doing this will do to you. It will just kill, see, the obelisk data, epsilon data. I have to keep all this stuff, I think. So, you gotta get rid of this other stuff, which sucks. I got a lot of that. I don't, I don't actually know how much of that I have to keep. I don't even know what you do with encoded data. I don't I don't know if you can sell it or or what. I got a lot of crap. I've dumped more than half of this stuff already and it just doesn't seem to make a difference. Okay, so that one was not what I needed. So I don't think I've unlocked this one yet because as I said I blew up before I had a chance to actually get anywhere with it. You got to go all over the place and try to find the right ones, and that's a trick. Okay, there's another casket. I may, I'm gonna need that to use with the uh, tablet because so far I've done everything I've needed to with the orb, but I have not done everything with the tablet. So once I'm done, once I unlock whatever this one, there's another one there, and there's one here, but I can't see it very well. We'll take a look. We'll scan. I'm hoping it'll give me a message or something this time and not tell me my data's full. Okay. Not the one that he needed. You will get a bunch of these when it, you are scanning the wrong one for that item. And they do shut down for a little bit when you uh, scan one to tell you don't scan it again. But they, it seems that there's only a certain amount of these that actually are working there's and it seems like it's the same ones every time 
Okay, he didn't say anything, so that one is correct. That is something that I needed. I think that's how that works. Uh, or blah, blah, blah. I think that's how that works. When he doesn't send you a message saying this is wrong, I don't need this one, then I think you're scanning the right ones. Of course, getting in here, trying to get to these are pain in the butt. This is basically what this is involving at this point. You just gotta try them. Okay, he didn't say no. So I imagine this one is not one that he wants. So I'm probably gonna have to go off and scan something else, because these are probably not what he's after here. No, nah, maybe. This is all part of it. It is just a huge freaking puzzle after all. And you just gotta find the right... Ugh. The right ones, and these things are hard to control, and I'm not the best of drivers, god bless, jeez. Okay, you're gonna light up. I haven't scanned anything with the tablet yet, so I have... Stop. I have... Back up. And you have to be just right or it won't scan. That's also something I noticed is kind of a pain. What do we got? Not what he needed. Okay, let's keep looking. Maybe we'll find something else. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make sure I get to show you guys what happens when you get the right ones. And that's a trick on its own. There are some more right there, but I know there's a where I got stuck before. I'm trying to avoid going there right now, but I probably it's probably the place that I do need to go up to, and it's up on that hill up there. I came up from the other direction because that was the side I was my ship was parked on. Mm-mm. I got wedged on a chunk of one of these that was sticking out of the ground, and it was very, very bad. Okay, he's not upset with that one. Let's take a look here. I don't see any of these glowing at all. Okay. Let's run down this row. Nothing. This one's glowing. Okay. Let's check you. Stop. And we'll see what this one does. There's only so many, as I said, there's only so many of these things that are actually running, and it's all the same ones. So, that right there tells me that you gotta scan almost every single one of them over and over and over to get the proper, uh, god, don't, 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 don't do what you did last time, you dummy. I get stuck on this stupid thing up here. I can't see. I wish you could go into third person and actually drive around. I got stuck on... I got stuck on that. I literally got wedged between the flat surface and the broken pillar, and it wedged me sideways. There was no moving, there was no jets, there was nothing I could do. I, everything I did just hurt. So it sucked. So let's check this one. This is the only one up here. Oh, well, he sent me something, but I couldn't read the damn thing, because that's something that has a problem with this game. Information does not pop up like it's supposed to, which can be very, very annoying. Because then you don't know if you got something right because it doesn't show. Uh, please fix Frontier, please, please. It would be really nice. Okay, I don't know. Did I scan these already? Did I scan this one? I don't think I scanned this one. If I did, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I don't mean to scan the same one again while doing this. No, I did not. Oh, whoop. there we go. <laughs> and what? You sent me two things. Not what you need, and not what you need. Okay, there's only so many places to go here, so if it ain't bleh, if it ain't those, there's some up here, I think. Uh, I'm going to hurt this thing. I'm going to break this game at some point because... There's a good spin right there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Where is what I'm looking for? I can't even see it. There it is. There it is. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Let's try. It. Don't get wedged on something. Stop. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Who's glowing here? I know somebody's gonna glow here. There's like four of you here that glow. There's four of you here that glow. Ah, there's two there. So these are two that I haven't scanned yet. Let's check these. Okay, so far those two were wrong. Let's try these two. And apparently you gotta be right in front of it or it doesn't do anything. 
So you gotta have your angle just right when you're doing this. Nope. And the game crashed. That is something that is happening a lot, Frontier. I know it's probably a bug since you did this update, but I can tell you right now, it is annoying as hell for that to keep happening. And uh, I am guess I'm now I'm gonna say it's not the multiplayer thing, it's this area. Something about it, it causes the thing to crash. But you don't lose any of the stuff that you scanned, which is good, otherwise I would've uh, failed, I wouldn't have that four million I could turn in right now. But I'm afraid to turn in that four million, not knowing if it'll cancel the rest of the mission out. It's like, okay, you gave up. I don't wanna do that yet. I literally will spend my four weeks here until that thing says complete, because I am not giving up on this okay yo load thank you for loading the ground where the hell am i oh let's find one here and those things those things uh for some reason only one of them here has a crystal in it anymore and i think that's my fault that one has one okay you can't scan that uh, if you can scan it i don't know how um Helm? No, I want to activate turret. Can I scan like this? Wow, that's not inverted. Uh, scan? I can, I can scan that. Content scan, ancient relic detected. Uh, okay. That was awesome. Okay, so far nothing seems to be working. So... I don't want to, I do have an urn. I actually have an urn. I don't want to lose this in case I can't find one of the others. So what you do is you just hit jettison and it leaves it right behind me where I was. So it's easy to find. So in, in case I don't know what to do with it. I thought I was using the orb. Maybe I dropped the orb for the tablet. I'm not exactly sure what I did anymore. Okay, casket. We're gonna try the casket. Let me get that, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, we got we got the casket now, and I think we still have the uh yeah we have the tablet. So we're gonna try something different. We're gonna use a different combination to see if it unlocks anything. He's still telling me no on stuff, so it's not necessarily wrong, but the chances of me getting something while I'm recording this is rather slim, because as I said, I spent four hours here, and I... Blah, ha, ha. This happy-go-lucky one is lit up again. Let's check it. As I said, chances of me actually finding something here while I'm doing this, I could record this for hours and have nothing happen. I think that's why they give you so much time. See, there's another one of those damn things. I bet you anything... You have to have those crystals. And uh, my buddy pointed out something to me, which I'm starting to think he might be right on. Uh, what are the chances of having to have two of the same item and scan with that? There is that possibility. I could see where that might be a thing. So it may that may also be worth trying. You guys are just going to have to try stuff. I'm literally going to spend the rest of my evening sitting here doing this, trying to figure this out, because it's starting to drive me nuts not knowing. And I want that 100 million credits, so I will do whatever it takes to get this damn thing done. I will spend four weeks of my spare time. Oh, cool, I found one. Okay, I did one. I did one, I did one, I did one. So I was able to do... Uh... Uh, so I don't understand if there's 21 things of research, but that was 11, but you get a million for each one that you complete So that's not right. So that's not true. That's not the case. So there was five He ah, He didn't say that was it and there is a lot of story to go along with this the stuff that he finds out about it So read it. It's, it is actually interesting. I'm not gonna erase it because I'm gonna sit here and read it in a little bit because uh, they stay in your inventory, even if the game crashes, you can still read them next item that you find or something. So, I guess that's all I needed for the tablet for right now, but I'm starting to think no. So, that is how that works. You, you swap out items, it gives you stuff, and that is how you figure out what pieces you need. Keep an eye on your haul, on your SRV, because it gets beat the hell up out here, and I hate it. <laughs> And you can get stuck on these things, so be very careful on what you guys do. 
This is an awesome thing to try to do. I suck at puzzles myself. If you've watched any of my other videos, I suck at puzzles. But maybe you guys can figure this out, and if you can, you'll be able to get that million, uh, 100 <laughs> million credits too. And I'm going to do my best to try to actually figure these puzzles out and get this done because that is something I really, really want to do because it's just more money to put towards my cutter when I eventually, if I ever am able to actually get it. So that does it for this episode of Elite Dangerous, and it was about their most recent update, and the Alien Bruins, and the new mission to come along with it that lasts for four weeks. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Washing? Washing what? What are you washing now? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Click the annotations at the end to watch one of the last videos I did on Elite, which was about the last thing in the beta that I recorded. And another video that YouTube thinks you will like in the other corner. And as always, I will see all of you guys in the next video. See ya.